In this episode, I'm going to take you to some of the areas around Denmark where I teach and instruct kite surfing. I have already mentioned those kite spots before in some of the previous episodes of my vlog, but today we'll take a closer look. This is another kite spot which I go to and teach the kite surfing. We are still in Denmark, up north, so north west coast. And this is a place called Lunas. We are actually at the Lunas Surf Center, which is right there behind me, which you saw the uh, videos um, from the, the, the B-roll video. And today actually I'm going to have here kite surfing lesson but the wind as you can see is pretty low so there's gonna be some wind surfing lesson going on because in wind surfing you can get away with lower wind so let's have a look at that you can see there in the background the guys are going to get their windsurf board or the paddle boards which are designated as well to attach a windsurfing sail. This is actually a spot which became one of my favorite ones and as you can see here this is the area where we teach pretty much more advanced riders they ride here on the left and then the beginners they attempt to go more to the right and then all the schools are teaching on that side uh, to kind of give some guys who wants to jump and you know do some progressions give them more space the whole area is really nice it's like a quiet village um, and this um, surf center is right next to the Linus Harbor which is right there in the distance so this spot is really cool As I told you earlier, I meant to have the kite surfing lesson today here in Lunas at the Lunas Surf Center. And I've got my kite 14 meter Elevate RS, but that wouldn't work because the wind is just too low. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop. This is another kite spot which I go to to teach kite surfing. We are in Faro and as you can see I'm all hooded up in my battle jacket which stops the wind. It's really windy today so I'm gonna quickly show you around how the spot looks like. Let's go! I'm hiding a little bit from the wind because it's coming from that direction so it's blowing this way and as you can see here's the van I'm also drying the kites from the previous session they're just here so these are the Elevate RS kites this is a 12 meter and up there is a 9 meter in this red color And also these kites are the 2023 V6 models, so brand new models for this season. And let's check out the spot. So as you can see the road is just here. 
So it's very close to the whole launching area and very close to the water because the water, if I show you around, is just here. Then in the back, bridge, and as you could hear, the wind is all coming from there, so I'm hiding here again. We can teach on that side of the road or this side behind the van. It's a shallow water, but it's still, you know, up to your chest. Um, kind of depth and it's challenging for beginners because they start to float once they go like past their waist into the water now I'm crouching here hiding behind this obstacle right here and as you can see this is a big massive pile of seaweed this is what I was telling you before this is the, you can say, the kite nightmare of Denmark because this seaweed is floating in the water and once, you know, your kite goes in the water and your line goes into the water all the seaweed is getting caught onto your lines to the point that sometimes you cannot even fly your kite anymore because the amount of seaweed that is hanging off your, off your lines is just pulling the kite to one side and make it like really difficult to, to, to even water relaunch and stuff like that. So look at these piles of seaweed. Then we've got on this side if you look just there there is this tractor thing collecting all the seaweed I'm gonna get closer in a minute to show you that and look how much of it he's pulling out of the coastline here and there he's got like a trailer coming and each time the trailer comes he loads up the full load and it's just crazy amount of seaweed Wow dried out seaweed up there you had the, the green fresh one this is the dried one the dark and you know brown and black and this is here you see the digger taking all the seaweed out check it out Woo, lift 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 wow and look how much of it is here floating in the water right there Absolutely crazy. Okay, let's have a look to the other side. If I'm shouting a little bit, I do apologize. But I'm trying to be heard through all that wind. <laughs> all right, we're gonna cross the road and go to the other side. side of the spot so today this side it has got offshore wind so teaching is happening on the other side where the wind is onshore so this spot is quite cool because regardless if you got the wind from one side or the other side you can still teach or you can still kite right here we've got the water access so when the teaching is happening, all the cars are parked on this side on the grass as you see and this is where they enter the water. And as you could see the spot, it's somewhere where many people would refer to us in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> some sunshine coming out beautiful amazing nature and this was Faro kite spot for you down south from Copenhagen but it's actually south east coast all right I'll see you in the next kite spot
this is another kite surfing spot which I go to and actually I've been here once before for one kite surfing lesson this place is called Fett Haben and it's uh, hour away from Copenhagen not many lessons are happening here as I just said because one thing is quite far and the amount of space that is here is a bit limited so there are much more suitable kite spots than this so technically speaking this is not a kite spot it's just a place with water and access to that water so even the place doesn't have uh, what we would call a, a beach or beach part it's just a piece of grass where you can set up your kite and if the wind direction is okay that's why I came here one time to do the lesson so this is the actual area as you can see around here where I'm spinning around here especially this part right here behind me this is the little space where you can set up your kite here is the little bench so you can sit down and you know rest your your, your gear or whatever have a um, little rest so as you can see the wind will have to be directly coming from this way in order for you to have enough space to set up your gear and that way you need some space to launch it safely what's really cool at this spot is that there are two amazing apple trees right at the beginning where I was starting talking to you about this spot and I'm pretty sure there's much more apple trees but these ones are right here where I stop and they are just amazingly abundant in the amount of fruits that they hold and carry let's have a look here's one of the trees and you can see how much apples are on it and look how much is out here as well on the ground now the other apple tree it's right here this is the one that is the second tree so they're right next to each other I'm pretty sure these are different types of apples so again amazing amazing place not only because of the water the connection with the nature the closeness of the nature but also these amazing fruits and remember fruit is my food all right there are many more kite surf spots around Denmark which I go to at least on the island of Zealand where I am located. In this movie you saw three of them and one day I am going to show you all of them. Especially a place referred to as called Hawaii on the other side of Denmark which I am yet to see myself. <laughs> 